What's going on guys? Pepper Bella here doing a live commentary. Playing some Homefront. Yeah, yeah, got it on the Steam sale that happened. I think it was yesterday, Midweek Madness, whatever the hell you want to call it. $7.21 for the game and all the DLC. Totally worth it, in my opinion. I mean, if you guys are familiar, those of you who have been with my channel from the beginning will know that I used to play this a lot on OnLive. I haven't made a lot of videos for it, but I had made an OnLive video and I showed off Homefront. And uh, I'm not sure if it was one of my finer matches or not, but basically, I dominated Homefront on OnLive. Don't mean to be like that guy that brags or whatnot, but I mean, like, I was one of the top fucking players on OnLive. And this was playing with input lag and all that gay shit that OnLive has because, you know, that's what happens when you stream games through the internets. Even though it runs pretty well and generally is pretty awesome technology and stuff. There is always input lag that you really have to always understand you can't really get rid of. Oh shit. I aggravated the beast. What? See? Shit like that makes no sense to me where I turn around and, you know, clearly shoot him in the face. You know, blast a brony's face off, but he's still like, oh, I live because of random internet things. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm starting from scratch again, it's like... I had all these awesome weapons on the online version, because I was like a level 62 or 61, I don't really remember which. And I had all the weapons I wanted, and all the attachments, and everything I could possibly ask for. And now I'm starting all over, so it's kind of like... Oh, uh, uh... Oh, look at this terrific flank. Yeah. Snap, son. Yeah, game has a good campaign too, so don't underestimate the fact that it looks like Call of Duty, plays like Call of Duty, feels like Call of Duty, kind of. A little bit more realistic. Weapons kind of have this really cool sound to them. They have this really, they feel great too, like every weapon feels different, awesome. It's definitely a game you should pick up on Steam, like. I'm not just saying, oh shit, what the fuck? I'm not just saying that, but like, seriously, it's it's a pretty solid shooter. Very underrated shooter, I find. Like, I know Crytek's making uh, the Homefront 2 game, which I'm honestly really looking forward to, because I mean, just this game, when I played it on OnLive, I thought it looked pretty good. And I was thinking like, wow, man, just picture, picture CryEngine 3 and Homefront 3. And like, that idea alone was just like, my brain. I just kept saying yes over and over again. I couldn't, like, you know. Oh, look at that. Lance Corporal 3. Uh, I'm moving up in the world, Ma. Son of a bitch. Now, this of course isn't, what game, what is it, Battle Commander or whatever it's called. So I have no idea how to go about getting ammo and shit. Because in Battle Commander, there's always that one player that's the high threat. Kind of like Blacklight Retribution where you have like that high threat player that kills a bunch of people and then you get, you essentially get rewards for being awesome. So like, if you're good at the game, especially this. Like, you have unlimited ammo, pretty much, because every, like, every time you get a new level and whatever from, like, your threat star rating and all that shit, whenever you get a new level, you get, uh, you get ammo and buffs, like, certain kind of buffs, like, oh, better armor, bullet penetration's better, damage is better, you know, shit like that. So, <laughs> like, and now that I'm playing, oh, crap, tank. Where'd it go? Whatever. I'm not one to pick fights. Especially with monster tanks. That wanna shred me with their 150mm cannon. Or 105, I don't know what tanks in this game, but... That's why you stay away from the windows, folks. Especially in wartime. Oh god. Get in the building. Get into White Castle! Ooh. 
past Blue Ribbon. I am so scared. What do I do? Oh, right. A rocket launcher. Ha! Oh, it's already blown up. Whatever. I don't know what to do now. I have a rocket launcher that I don't want. Oh, what's pretty cool, too, is it's one of those games where if you buy a second weapon, like, you purchase, like... Man, Blacklight Retribution actually took so much from this game, like, the battle points, or CP in Blacklight Retribution. But, uh, basically, it's like you get points for... Oh, shit. Ugh! Eat my 9 mil! It doesn't like Koreans. Wait, am I Korean? I don't know if I'm Korean or American. Oh, I'm Korean. Shit. Doesn't like Americans! Uh. I need a new gun, because clearly... Ah, this will work. Oh yeah, every weapon has like three different kind of attachments for like red dots and stuff, which is pretty cool. It's like, you get like three different kinds of red dots, three different kinds of holographics, shit like that. Pretty neat. Three different kinds of ACOGs, you know, so that way they look aesthetically nice on your gun, depending on what kind you prefer. And they also have a little bit of different, uh, like I know the ACOGs have different kinds of reticles. Red dots, same thing. Yeah, no, you are an asshole. I do not like you. I'm gonna fly the scout, Let's see if I can do this. If I remember how to fly. Uh, it's been a while since I've been behind the controls of one of these bad boys. As you can tell, I can barely kill anyone. Damn it, this thing has terrible turning. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to line up the shot and I have to do like a full swing around just to... Oh crap. I don't get the chopper until like level 22. Oh crap, no! You will not take me out. Not like this. Oh my god, I do not remember how to do this. <laughs> I used to be a pretty avid pilot. I know it sounds kind of hard to believe right now. You're like, what? But I'm looking at you fly right now. You can't even keep it straight. But trust me. When I get the hang of it again, you see, I was once an amazing pilot. Flying for the North Korean KPA. Killing everything. Especially in the Apache, and I had like this, uh, cause this vehicle perks and stuff you can get. The way the perk system works in this game too is pretty neat. It's, uh, instead of it just giving you like blatant perks, saying like, oh, here, this increases whatever, there's a certain amount of points that you can actually fit to your character. And, uh, oh, jeez, the fucking Abrams fucking up my, uh, But yeah, there's a certain amount of points you can get. So I think it's like six or five. And yeah, it's five, I think. That your character can put, you know, put on your character. And certain abilities have certain amount of requirements. So some will take up three slots, some will take up two, some will take up one. So you can fill it in with like five one slot, like, you know, perks or whatever. Or like you can put in one, one slot. Uh, you stupid god. He got away from me, I can't believe that. Still get- Damn it! Oh well, we won. I don't care. Victory is mine! But yeah, the slots basically deter on how much they're worth, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like leveling up, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Damn, I said that fast. Take care, guys.